And it's hard to sit here when I know how you both feel. And I've heard many, many things about how horrible Leanne is. And not once did you ever express how you felt to her. You You're are not. so full of Why did you no, make fun of Leanne about her doctor when we first got to the hotel? If my doctor told me to go buy a compact from a pharmacy <laughs> store and put it here so you don't have a bulk and tape yourself up, I'd be like, what the f***? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Easy, breezy, okay. beautiful. Good job. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I, I don't think that's funny to make fun of someone and then you sit there and and don't tell her the truth. And you also didn't have Kira's back last night. Well, I just don't feel like you guys spoke I, your opinion. I I felt like I did. I thought you were going to own what you said about her. And, about and, what? Okay, wait. Let's talk about... Let's hold on for a minute and let's talk about the truth real quick because I have a little issue with this. So, Kiri... Brandy and Stephanie told me you talked about Leanne's fiance. I don't know what you said because they did not tell me, but it's so, it was so bad apparently that they couldn't tell me. I heard he is the world's smallest penis. Isn't that sad? Like I can't guy. fathom what anybody would say negative about Rich because the truth is, I mean, I literally jokingly call him Dudley Do Right. I was joking around. I was like, oh, I heard around town that he has a tiny little penis. That's what you said? Yes! It was a, it was, it was a joke. That was it? I mean, yes, I'm that was it. That was what you're I'm so upset you about? Yes, that's what they're so upset about. This huge secret is something really small. You know what? I, I can tell you something. As I mean, far as I'm concerned, I'm quite happy. I don't have any issues. This is the silver fox. This is his package. Hmm. I shouldn't have said anything about Rich ever, and it was in a joking fashion. I mean, Brandy was laughing and thought it was funny. Did you not? I'm sorry, I am putting the f middle because she talks about your husband and you talk about hers. So why am I in the f middle? Why do I have to deal with it? You two own your own shit. It's all about you accepting the fact that you both talk shit about each other behind it and whoever's below the belt, both of you are. So f it, I don't want to be in the middle. Own it, you own it, and why the f settle it? I'm out. I know, I said she said this and you said that, but you know, mm, I don't want to be in the middle. Okay, then don't get in the middle to start with then. She started the game and now one's out. I want out too. Show me the exit, girl. I'm gonna come with you. Can I follow you? Can we go together? I also I had your back up on she talks about your husband. I said in the car, Mark is a chop chop. Did I say something more than that? You did. No. What did I say? We were in the doctor's office. You were very worked up about the vagina doctor. And what you said was you knew people that had sucked his D at the roundup. I mean, really?